Hello guys, it's Mashtag back here again. Today I want to give you a quick update to my last video about Devolution X on the RG351P and show you how to get it run on the famous ArcOS firmware. We're also going to add a pretty nice thumbnail image for the game to the game list in ArcOS together, as you can see here in the video. And in addition, I will show you the button mappings and how to change the gameplay speed in this version. So let's waste no time and jump right into it. Okay, first of all, you need to be on the latest version 1.5 or later of ArcOS. The support for Devolution X got added only a few days ago to version 1.4, but I still recommend you to ensure that you're on 1.5 or later because these versions already come with a major button fix for Devolution X. If you already installed ArcOS and have a Wi-Fi connection ready, you can simply choose options from the emulation station menu, choose update from the list and follow the steps on the screen to update your ArcOS firmware to the latest version. If you don't have ArcOS installed yet, I recommend you to follow the instructions on the GitHub page of Christian Hagen or follow the YouTube guide of Retro Game Corps. I'll put you the link to it into the video description. At this point, I'd like to say big thanks to Christian for all the work he puts into ArcOS, providing all that good stuff for us. Now let's start and download the required files. Therefore, follow the link in the video description to my Google Drive and download the gamecontrollerdb.txt and the devolution x imagepng file to your PC. After that, switch over to your download folder and drag and drop both files to your desktop. To play Diablo 1 on your device, we also need the game file called diabdat.mpq. You can either find it on your original CD or you can download the game from gog.com for a few bucks. Now that we got those files ready, we need to make a connection to our RG351 to copy the files over. Be sure you got your Wi-Fi already set up on ArcOS and enabled the remote services in the options menu. In case you haven't set up a Wi-Fi connection on this system yet, I'll leave you a link to a guide in the video description. Open WinSCP and connect your RG351. Here we need to navigate to a folder called ROMs, Ports, Devolution and drag and drop the gamecontrollerdb.txt file right into it. Confirm to overwrite the existing file to apply the fixed version. As next step, we also need to copy the game data of Diablo 1 into this folder. So let's take the diabdat.mpq file and drop it into that folder too. I've already copied the file to my device, so I will skip the copy process. As the final step, we want to add a Diablo game thumbnail for the game list in Emulation Station. To do this, navigate back to the Ports folder and, in case it's not existent yet, create a new subfolder called Images. Now jump into that folder and drag and drop the devolution-image.png file into it. Now that everything is done, let's get back to our RG351 and start Devolution X. To give you guys an impression of the game, let me show you some footage of Diablo gameplay on the RG351 running the ArcOS firmware. You start a new game by choosing single player from the game menu, select a hero and choose new game. Select your difficulty level from the next menu and here we go. As you can see, this version also supports the correct functionality of the left analog stick to move your character. Now before we start, let me show you the button mapping on the screen. I will also make this a section in the timeline of this video, so you can always come back to it and pause the video in case you need to look it up again.
Now I'll leave you with the game so you can enjoy a few minutes of gameplay. You can always open the main menu at any time of the game by pressing start and select and save your current state. So if you quit Diablo and come back to any time later, you can continue your game right at the state where you saved and left the game. This version of Devolution X also allows you to modify the game speed. I played around with that feature but ended up leaving it back at normal speed because that felt the most comfortable to me. Okay, that was my guide for you guys to show you how to play Devolution X on ArcOS. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, let me know with a thumbs up and share it with your best friend. If you didn't like the video, let's say you hate it, then share it with your worst enemy. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel for more videos, so we'll see each other back soon again.